Well, good afternoon. I'm at Bayou Bluff Campground in the Ozark St. Francis National Forest. We have I've stopped here for lunch and uh, Tina has fished here before, but we never have camped here. We're set up to camp tonight and uh, let me show you around camp. This will be our fourth night in the rooftop tent and it's really worked well. We've slept in a different location all three nights. This will be the fourth different location. Two nights along the Costot River, one night at Lake Sylvia Campground where we got showers and just kind of chilled out. And uh, this will be the fourth night. These, uh, this Bayou Bluff has little, I don't know what you call them. They're not really cabins, but they're covered areas. Little room, little covered room with a fireplace and a chimney. We're gonna cook chili in that little fireplace tonight in the Dutch oven. Got all my ingredients prepped. I'm just waiting for my fire to get right, but I'll show you around camp a little bit and I'll show you inside the rooftop tent probably this evening when we kind of get everything put away. We just have the blankets and pillows thrown up there right now. But, and we just had an eagle fly overhead, a bald eagle, and that was just awesome. Nice little campsite, picnic tables. There's a fire ring, lantern pole. U.S. Forest Service run campground, and then we've got these little covered areas, which are really, really neat, and the fireplace. Mm -hmm.
Well, after I got coffee brewed, I grabbed a cup and took a little hike this morning. While Tina was fishing yesterday, she caught several smallmouth, but she noticed a trail that came from the water and she followed it to a, it looks like an abandoned picnic area. There's a structure that's fallen down, but the picnic tables are still intact. There's uh, some barbecue grills, really a nice little day use area. And it's not far from the turnaround at the end of Bayou Bluff Recreational Area. There's a little gap in the wall. If you go through that gap and follow that trail, you'll come to that little day use area. Really nice area. If you continue through that day use area, there's a, a marked trail and there's, there's placards that identify the different trees along the trail. And at the end of the trail, or towards the end of the trail, there is this really nice picnic area with, a, it's got one picnic table, a grill, fire pit. You can see the mountains in the distance and Illinois Bayou below. It's just a really nice spot. I know when I think about bayous, I think about slow moving muddy water. This couldn't be further from that. It is just beautiful. It's crystal clear. It's got some shoals and rapids, some really cool rock formations. It's just a really nice area and I don't think it gets a whole lot of use. Well, we're getting towards the end of our trip. We've got a few groceries left I want to get rid of. I've got eggs, milk, and uh, bread. I think I'm going to make French toast this morning. So we're going to turn around, head back down to camp and get breakfast started. Good morning. I'm at Lake DeGray. Actually, it's State Park on Lake DeGray. And I think there may be some dispersed camping around here. I'm gonna have to do some research. I'd like to come back here. It's really a really nice lake. Actually, we stayed at the lodge last night. We had uh, high winds yesterday, gust up to 30 miles an hour. We didn't want to go through that in the tent, so we got a room at the lodge for last night and uh, decided to hole up here. Beautiful lake, like I said. I wanted to tell you about the tent. We spent four nights in the tent and really had no issue at all. We spent, spent each night in a different location. And I know I didn't do a lot of video on this trip. It was mainly just to get away for Tina and I and uh, kind of check out the tent. But we did find some places that I want to uh, go back to and really do an extensive video on because they're really nice places. It's supposed to rain for the next couple of days. So I think we're going to head home this morning after breakfast 
So I'm going to close the video out here, but I wanted to leave you with some of the sights and sounds of Lake DeGray as I close the video out. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.